let us take y is function of x an equation x square plus 1 so x is called independent variable and y value depends on x values that's why x is y is dependent variable suppose if we take x value is 1 what is y value 1 square plus 1 that is 2 if you take x value is 3 3 square is 9 9 plus 1 is 10 so y value is equal to 10 so here x value increases by 2 units and y value increases by 8 units so we call this as delta x change of x we call this as delta y that means if x increases by 2 y value increases by 8 so here y is equal to suppose x square plus 1 so I can take it as it is x value so this will be y value so what is this value y plus delta y that is equal to this one so here x value is 1 now delta x it increases by 2 so this 3 is x plus delta x so y if you take x plus delta x now you will be getting y plus delta y in the same way a general equation y is equal to f of x and if you take x plus delta x you will be getting y plus delta y y plus delta y very simple one with the help of graph also you can understand with the help of graph also we can understand see this is y x graph let me go for this is a straight line two points so x2 comma y2 we know this value is x1 and uh, this value is x2 this will be delta x that is x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 equal to delta x so x2 equal to x1 plus delta x same way this will be y1 and uh, this will be y2 and this will be delta y delta y means y2 minus y1 so y2 can be written as y1 plus delta y so this will be delta x this will be delta y this will be delta x so x1 plus delta x can be written as x2 so this is y1 plus delta y can be taken as y2 so y2 equal to y1 plus delta y in the same way instead of using suffix 1 2 taking like this let me take one arbitrary point for particular value of x the value of y and uh, suppose if i go for delta x increment i am going to this point and here is the delta y increment so i call this point as this point as x plus delta x so x plus delta x and uh, this point this is y so this will be y and this is delta y so this point is y plus delta y so y plus delta y that means when x value changes by delta x y value changes by delta y y value changes by delta y as i told you just now in velocity example similar to that suppose if i take delta y by delta x it is average change in y with respect to x what do we say so how to calculate that delta y by delta x let me take this equation number one this is equation number two two minus one you do y plus delta y is equation number two minus y is equation number one f of x plus delta x minus f of x so minus y plus y cancel delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x this is change in y 
now average change of y with respect to x means delta y by delta x that is equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x by delta x i am dividing on both sides with the delta x that's all so we call it as average change in y average change in y with respect to x average change in y with respect to x so delta y by delta x when x changes by delta x y will change by delta y so from the graph from the graph that average change in y with respect to x we can calculate as slope of the line joining those two points because tan theta will give you slope tan theta equal to delta y by delta x tan theta equal to delta y by delta x but delta y by delta x is called as average change in y with respect to x but tan theta gives you slope of line joining these two points so that means if you want to calculate the average change in y with respect to x between these two points mathematically i will do like this graphical from graph i just calculate the slope of line joining those two points that is tan theta value that's all so that we can calculate average change in y with respect to x